So Supreme Court has cautioned against unnecessary prosecutions when it comes to cases related to abatement of suicide. So what is firstly abatement of suicide? It is defined under Section 107 of IPC and Section 45 of the Bharati Nyaya Sanhita 2023. So there are certain conditions. If those are fulfilled, so it leads to the case of abatement of suicide. So when a person instigates any person to do that thing, which leads to, again, suicide is one condition engages with one or more others in conspiracy for doing that thing thirdly intentionally you are aiding by any act or illegal omissions for doing that thing so that is a abatement of suicides so what has the top court said so relying on the past decision supreme court held that in abatement of suicide cases there must be direct and alarming encouragement incitement by the accused so direct and alarming is the key word so two categories may say cases could divide kar diya, which is based on the relationship of the deceased persons with the accused and when there are sentimental ties the bar for providing abatement so sometimes a normal quarrel or any hot exchange of words can also result into immediate psychological imbalance so official capacity relationships is another key phrase such as between employer and employee so on the other hand they managed through laws rules policies but courts must avoid unnecessary prosecutions and must see if there is any evidence to show evidence there to actually actually prove between again the person who's instigating the so previous cases agaram dekhe m mohan versus the state 2011 so here it uh, the supreme court stated it requires an active or direct act which led the deceased to commit the suicide and 2023 may we had the karnataka high court refused to quash the proceedings against three persons accused of abatement uh, of suicide of an employee from the lgbtq community so they were supposed to be, they were co-workers and one was manager. So harassment at workplace, making fun of the employee on the basis of sexual orientation led to the suicide. So there cannot be any particular parameter or yardstick for interference or particularly in cases of abatement. Third is the Uday Singh. State of Haryana 2019. So, here the Supreme Court too had held that providing abatement of suicide would depend on the facts of individual cases. Definitely, because the reasons can be different. So, rollout of the labor code, the four labor codes, we, we were seeing that they were not able to be implemented because of lack of rules. So, status update 25 of the 28 states, they have finalized the draft rules. No data has been announced as of now. As many as we saw the 44 labor-related acts, they've been consolidated into the four labor codes. And remaining states like West Bengal, Meghalaya, and Nagaland, they agreed to frame subordinate legislations. Okay, different legislation I'm looking because of, again, their own concerns and their reasons. So labor codes implementation, effective implementa implementation is firstly from the perspective of labor security is very important. Their safety at working places is very important. It is directly related to their quality of life. They would be insured minimum wages, social security benefits. So in a way, we are trying to labor codes ke through. We are formalizing the informal sector in a way. Four labor goods are code on social security, occupational safety and working conditions, industrial relations and code on wages. So many victims of quick commerce. So we are seeing that how e-commerce revolution, yeah, digitization, yeah, rise of startups has brought this revolution. So quick commerce, yeah, like 10 minutes delivery, 20 minutes delivery. For example, like Blinkit is there. Swiggy and Stamart Zepto. So these are certain examples. And rich shoppers, they are hooked to convenience. So they offer you convenience in terms of quick delivery. 
plus diversified options. So bigger shift we are seeing in the retail ecosystem. So they're going to again impact the mom and pop shops or the Kirana stores that we talk about. So this is also related to the FMCG sector. High value goods are also being delivered by these quick commerce platforms. It would threaten the livelihood small retailers and the traders which are there. So sideline the traditional distributors. So it is just a drop in India's online retail economy. So we can say it is just uh, started to expand. So it is confined right now to these, these cities. So how it can penetrate uh, the rural areas also is again connected to the deeper penetration of the FMCG sector. So maintaining that they're not overcharging and the commission that they're charging on each delivery, how we are regulating that is also going to play an important role in terms to, again, consumer safety. They're not delivering, again, the adulterated products or the fake products. That is also one thing. So there should be, again, a platform to even address the concerns of the consumers at the same time. So a convenient channel, we can say. So there's no new deadline on the oversight of Indian clearing houses. So clearing houses, for example, when we're talking about the clearing cooperation of India is there. So RBI and the ESMA talks to go beyond October. So European banks in India will continue to transact with the clearing houses, which are already there working with. RBI is continuing to ask to removal of extra territorial element from these laws. And ESMA has been asking for the powers to inspect Indian clearing cooperation. So that is not being allowed by RBI either. So they may use their local peers as go-betweens, but at increased cost. So let's see how these things are going to unfold. Because uh, again, if ESMA would be directly, which is European Securities Markets Authority would be directly regulating or interacting or going ahead with this, their, their demand. So it can impact the, the independent and the autonomous functioning of the clearing cooperation in India. And it is again an external third party. So we are already having the laws and the rules regarding this. So that is not being allowed. Like we have NSC clearing cooperation. So it is related to the securities market and the capital market. So NSC clearing, NSC, IFSC clearing cooperation, and multi-commodity exchange clearing cooperation. And for clearing, basically, if you are buying uh, any stocks or any like a particular bond, you're trading in futures and options. So when it comes to, again, you, you get a mail and a message about, again, that you have bought this share, then that would be stored for a certain time in the depositories. And if you decide to sell that, so again, that would have to be cleared by these clearing corporation. They give you the final go-ahead that your transactions are approved. So that is the major function of these clearing corporations. So it is related to our the financial stability also, the financial ecosystem that we have. So this we have covered for the green claims or green washing, regulate misleading advertisements regarding the same. This is Patanjali ka case hua tha, to although it was not related to green washing, but that is also somewhere related to the fake claims, unsubstantiated environmental claims pe particularly. So UA to examine India's concern on shipments of precious metals. So particularly when you're talking about the FT also, so significant increase dekhne ko mila hai of imports of precious metals into India. So we have the SEPA Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, gold and silver shipments. They enjoy duty concessions also, 1%, 7% respectively. So 15% was the import duty on gold before this budget and silver made imports from other countries. So that made it less lucrative because the other import or the custom duty hogi, utna the domestic market mein price increase hoga. So Voda idea turnaround soon says build up. So there's been certain investments made by them. So this is also important key Voda idea turnaround because we are seeing oligopoly or we can say duopoly in the telecom market so that we see that there is healthy market competition. So that is why also the revival of Vodafone ideas are important. And then apart from this, 
जब हम ऑप्शन की बात करते हैं ऑफ द स्पेक्ट्रम ऑप्शन तो लाइक आकाश अंबार ने कॉल्स फॉर लोकल स्टोरेज ऑफ डेटा दिस वी आर अगेन दिस इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट प्रोविजन ऑफ द डिजिटल पर्सनल डेटा सेफ्टी और डेटा प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट एज वेल डेटा लोकलाइजेशन सो फॉर दैट डेटा सेंटर पॉलिसी भी इम्पोर्टेंट है सो इंडिया शुड रिमेन इन इंडियन इंडियन डेटा शुड रिमेन इन इंडियन डेटा सेंटर सो ए आई स्ट्रैटी ड्रिवन बाई डोमेस्टिक क्रिएशन ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी तो ए आई फॉर ऑल जैसे हम बात करते हैं तो यहाँ पे भी राइट टू अगेन डिलीशन ऑफ डेटा इज अनदर प्रोविजन विच इज रिलेटेड टू दिस so as networks have grown we have potential risk to the public especially from the phishing schemes which are there fraudulent calls and spam messages so this is uh, undermining public's confidence and communication system so prime minister pitches for global ai and data privacy norms no single country can protect its citizens from cyber threats on its own because again it is a global threat तो सेटलमेंट ऑफ केस ऑफ एन एस सी विद से बी सो मार्केट रेगुलेटर है से बी वी नो एंड नेशनल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज एन एस सी की एप्लीकेशन थी फॉर सेटलिंग द अलेज वॉलेशन रिलेटेड टू ट्रेडिंग एक्सेस पॉइंट आर्किटेक्चर एंड द नेटवर्क कनेक्टिविटी फ्रेमवर्क सो एन एस सी अभी लिस्टेड कंपनी नहीं है बी एस सी है बट सो इट अलाउज इट टू गो फॉर इट्स आई पी ओ प्लान इट इज रिलेटेड टू दैट टैप फ्रेमवर्क है क्या सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशन है इट इज डिप्लॉयड बाय एन एस सी इन टू थाउजेंड एट ऑन द सर्वर्स फॉर मैनेजिंग कनेक्शन और जो रिलेशन है मैसेजेस रिलेटेड टू दैट फॉर द ऑर्डर्स और जो ट्रेड्स किए जाते हैं ऑन एन एस सी पर्टिकुलरली उसके लिए वी हैव दिस सॉफ्टवेयर टैप सॉफ्टवेयर ट्रेडिंग एक्सेस पॉइंट सॉफ्टवेयर so this case has been finally settled and uh, there can be an ipo related to nsc development projects in sri lanka more through investments and the grants so india is committed to supporting sri lanka's debt restructuring efforts securing imf support india emphasizes importance of robust partnership with sri lanka and there was recent visit by our minister of external affairs regarding debt restructuring discussions in international bond holders related so financial stability of sri lanka is important also when you talk about concerns related to their more uh, really strengthening relations with china so overall stability of the indian ocean region yeah when you talking about the democratic functioning of the security conclave of the colombo security conclave ke jo hum baat karte so that's important and even from the perspective of having an open and free indo pacific region so india's first bullet train would be made by beml so beml is a company which is it is state run so it is again a public sector enterprise it has been awarded the contract for designing manufacturing and commissioning the by the integral coach factory so price of each car is rupees close to 28 crores total contract worth rupees 866 crores so it is showcasing here also moving towards indigenization railway the these trains will be part of india's 508 km long high speed rail corridor from mumbai to ahmedabad so investments of japan at the same time is important but again there are certain concerns so japanese e5 series is the name of their bullet train so because high prices were quoted by the japanese company so we have decided that we will be manufacturing our bullet trains on our own so big ticket deal to procure 31 predator drones from usa so this is how the drone looks like so cabinet committee on security they have cleared procurement of mq 9b hunter killer drones so it is important from the perspective of modernization of our defense forces and 
the new technological developments and again the new security challenges emerging so we had signed these agreements one of them is limova logistics exchange memorandum of agreement in 2016 sea guardian drones and they are being procured coastal security high altitude long endurance drones they, they can operate in high altitude regions in the himalayan regions so ethical ai and cyber security so we need a global template on this जैसे हम मिनिमम कॉपोरेट टैक्स की बात करते हैं तो सिमिलरली ए आई के लिए भी वी नीड अ ग्लोबल टेम्पलेट एंड स्टैंडर्ड सो टेलीकॉम इंडस्ट्री लीडर्स द पुश फॉर पॉलिसी रिफॉर्म दैट रिसेंटली हेल्ड इंडिया मोबाइल कांग्रेस सो इंटर कनेक्टेड वर्ल्ड सिक्योरिटी के नॉट बी इन आफ्टर थॉट देन इंडिया इज कमिटेड टू बिल्डिंग अ सेफ डिजिटल एनवायरमेंट सो टू इंश्योर दैट फ्यूचर इज बोथ टेक्निकली स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड एथिकली साउंड so india's only mission is to connect the world and open new doors of progress to more digitization but in an inclusive ethical manner so cyber security concerns are there definitely because the technology itself has offered the cyber securities or these the people behind them to operate from any part of the world so this was the world telecommunication standardization assembly 2024 so itu ka role bhi important hai data protection act national cyber security strategy even this should be again a part of our national security strategy also safe digital environment for this we have to work together like jaise yahan pe reference diya ja raha hai ancient silk route ka or today's technology route so india's only mission is to connect with the world open new doors of progress us time pe ancient silk route was the the way through it okay so that's all for today thank you so much for joining on in sarkari and we'll be moving forward pushing ourselves every day to bring in new points in our discussions and thank you so much for staying with us